This is the right hemicolon of an asymptomatic 54-year-old man presenting for his first screening colonoscopy. As a surprising incidental finding, we see these bulky cysts within the colonic wall. As you can see here, there are both small, solitary cysts and complex, large, bulky cysts. The lesions arise in completely normal-looking mucosa and are covered by regular mucosa. In this case, the cysts are predominantly located in the right hemicolon and there are only a few cysts in the distal parts of the colon. What we see here is the characteristic macroscopic appearance of pneumatosis cystoides intestinalis within the colon. This is an unusual condition characterized by gas-filled cysts that are located within the serosa or submucosa. Typically, the cysts are surrounded by regular and non-inflamed mucosa. This feature is very important because it allows clear differentiation from the linear form of pneumatosis that is the result of bacterial invasion of the colon wall in necrotizing colitis. This is a completely different, life-threatening scenario. Pneumatosis is a rare finding, but it is important to be aware of it because these lesions are easily mistaken for submucosal tumors and inadequate therapy might be initiated. Indeed, it is not uncommon that these patients are referred for surgery or endoscopic resection of these lesions. This should be omitted because invasive therapy is rarely indicated. How can we prove that indeed these lesions are filled with gas? To prove it, the cysts are punctured with an injection needle and the air is aspirated. Immediately the cysts collapse and the diagnosis is established. In asymptomatic cases like this, no therapy for pneumatosis cystoides intestinalis is required.